So we've seen accelerators that provide the abstraction for the programming models and the devices. We've seen the device concept that represent the physical device, uh, the queue, which enables communication between hosts and devices. Uh, we've seen the platform union of all the functionality. And now we want to use multiple backends at once. In a real world scenario, you will want to use all the available compute power on your system. And uh, another real world scenario is that you will probably have multiple different hardware types available. So a common use case would be a host with a CPU and an NVIDIA GPU, for example. You will need to use one backend per hardware platform with Apaka. And uh, these backends also need to be interoperable. With Apaka, heterogeneous programming is fairly easy. All you have to do is create one accelerator per backend. So in our example here, we will create an accelerator for CPU based on OpenMP, and we'll create an accelerator for GPUs based on CUDA. Then we have to acquire devices, at least one device per accelerator. So in this example here, we are acquiring one device for CPU and one GPU device. And then we also need to create queues and uh, also one queue per device. So uh, we'll create uh, on the right side, you can see that we're creating a queue that leads to our CPU device and also a queue that leads to our GPU device. Now, how do we communicate between different backends? Buffers are defined and created per device. So if you look on the right hand side on the top, we are creating a buffer on the CPU using uh, the alloc command, and we're also creating a buffer on the GPU. And those are tied to the devices we just created on the last slide. These then have to be initialized somehow, and then they can be copied from the CPU to the GPU, for example. So you just use the copy command, pass in the GPU queue as first parameter, then the destination, then the source, and the extent of the buffer. You can then execute a GPU kernel on the queue, and then you can copy the results back to the CPU and wait for completion. There is uh, one restriction here. Uh, CPU to GPU copies and vice versa require the GPU queue. So you can't copy from uh, the CPU to a GPU on a CPU queue. So in summary, Alpaca gives you access to all of your system's computation resources. Alpaca makes it easy to program for different device types. With Alpaca, it's quite simple to transfer data between different devices and device types. Together, this makes your code reusable and this makes your code portable. And then there's also a catchy marketing slogan here. So uh, run once, scale everywhere. That's it. Are there questions to heterogeneous computing? Um, it looked like the, the copy from the GPU is happening after the GPU queue is empty. But can you copy from, I don't know, some memory region in the GPU while other kernels are running which are independent of that? Yes, but in a different queue. So, so in queues, or operations are like in a first in first out order. So if you want to do this asynchronous stuff, then you generally need multiple queues for the same device. And then you could also uh, like, there is also options like you can pause one queue until event from maybe another queue uh, completes and do stuff like that. But that normally requires multiple queues for the device. Okay, thanks. Any more questions? Okay, then we've covered today's uh, 